I'm not sure if I'm live. Should be live, right? Should be live. Just checking the feed quickly. It's a bit weird how YouTube does this. It'll sit there and it'll record the bit before you go live and Power then off. you go live. <laughs> it doesn't really make sense, does it? I think we're live, I think we're good. Let me just check. Is the, is the mic working? Hello, one, two, three, should be working. I'm live. Dan Rowe, thanks for popping along so early, man. I appreciate it, I really do. Ian Wallin, thank you for coming along as well. Um, we're just gonna be blessed around playing some games. I've just been chilling here. I've got a nice little drink. I uh, thought we could just do some games. So let's just roll into it, man. All right, and then let me make sure I've got my chat up uh, so I can see you guys, obviously. I'm just get that down here. So I can see everything's working well. Sweet. And let me get my chat up as well. Jennifer, thank you for coming. Thank you. Uh, right, I'm just getting a chat out quickly. Bear me two seconds. Let's get this all out here. You're an expanded, Fernando. Cool stuff, man. Cool stuff. All right, let's get that out of the way. I think I've got everything structured correctly here. Just to make sure everything's working well. <laughs> Power off. There we go. I got you, Ryan. I got you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just so focused on making sure the stream's working well and everything's, everything's functioning fine enough. Um, sweet. Um, I just want to mess around with some stuff. Um, I kind of just play a few unique decks. This is a Dragonite build that I had so long ago. Because someone did request Dragonite. Um, and I've been really trying to work with it. But it's so awkward to work with. So I think I'll mess around with this concept. Which is a Dragonite mixed with the, the Macargo Acceleration Engine that I did in the... Um, the What was that? What was that? The Genesect video? Which I want to I wanna kind of go backtrack to that. Because there could be other Pokemon now that could really work with that. Anyway. Thought we'd just go into it and see how Dragonite's going to work out. Because I do want to play it at the very least. Ace, how are you doing? How are you doing? I am, uh, I'm all good, man. Saying farewell before it goes away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's so many cards going away that I, I can't even keep track. I can't even keep track, man. It is really tough keeping track in that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, I know it is, is it Ultra Prism Beyond? So anything after Ultra Prism is going to stay, right? Is, it, is that right? Is it Forbidden Light onwards? It's Forbidden Light after Ultra Prism? I think so. I think it is. Oh, Awkward Hand. Oh, good hand. I guess we can work on this as well. Um, if there's any decks you guys want me to play, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to. Messing around with my champ, Marshadow. Um, <laughs> <that guy. laughs> um, I actually do have someone come up to me who... He's actually donated me some codes. So actually what I might do is get some um, some packs going if I can get them up. Uh, I haven't actually used them yet because I've barely... Believe it or not, I've actually barely touched this game for a little bit of time. Uh, I've been going for a lot of self-discovery recently. and um, Just a lot of thinking about things and all that. It's, it's positive, don't get me wrong. But it, um, I've just kind of taken a, a, a big second away from Pokemon when I can. Because if I do it every single day, eventually it will start to become very stale. So I don't want to make sure... I want to make sure I keep things fresh. Which is uh, actually working, you know. Because I'm actually looking forward to playing this. I ain't played it in a little bit. Um, and messing around again. But yeah. Um, yeah, just been doing my thing recently. It's very convenient we don't have another losing in, uh, losing in a Sycamore situation. <laughs> true, true. We do, we, do, we do keep a lot of the... Uh, main supporters going on I, I think lily's going is that right or has lily been reprinted i think it was reprinted wasn't it it's a full art but i don't know if it's in a more recent set i could be wrong but uh, n could be coming back man have you seen that that cover leak of n unless it's something different but we see n on the on the cover mm, and could be returning i mean we do have that stamp card which is effectively half an n but oh this is such this is a card i really want to work with i think i might trade for it because I love this card. It's so fun. And Sharpedo's going to work really well with it. That new Weavile coming out is going to work with it. If you don't know what that Weavile is, basically it can move any um, dark energy around. So if you use things like Dark Rai, um, Sharpedo to get energy into play, and then use your Weavile to really move things around, then you can get some good stuff. Although it's very evolution dependent, which is never the best. Um, yeah, losing those cards was crazy. The, the, the game felt so odd. It felt so odd um, when Sycamore and N rotated. I was like, what? What is going on? Um, and then Marshadow obviously has come into the loop, which I might actually bench. No, I'm not going to bench it. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> uh, we'll bench it next turn, I think, once we get a, a Dragonite out, because we can at least be consistent at that point and guarantee a, a draw support any turn. The biggest issue with this deck is definitely its um, 
it's just lack of ability to get energy out quickly and be fast enough and, and run it KO. There's a, there's a lot of problems with this deck. It's consistent, obviously, but it's just there's a lot of problems with it. Um, oh, yeah, there was a small point where people considered playing stuff like how. Yeah, exactly. Like, that happened. I think one card that's a little underrated in some decks is how. Like, there's some decks that just do turn one um, GX almost every time. Like, Metagross would be one of them that usually tries to get a turn one GX. Um, same with Blacephalon, tries to get bl Burst GX pretty much as their first attack. So, how was a uh, how? Sorry, Harlow's a pretty good card um, in those kind of decks. I've got an interest if you want to trade. Um, I'll keep I'll keep you in touch on that one, Ian. I'll definitely keep you in touch on that one, buddy. Because if I do get some stuff that I can trade, I'd love to make it a fair one at least. Um, yeah, that's that's fair, mate. But um, I want to make I'll make it a fair trade. I won't just uh, take it off your hands because I do want to uh, be as fair as possible, obviously. So I'll get some codes and then we'll we'll see what we can do. I appreciate that though. I really do. Um, this is awkward. <laughs> uh, Wish for Tom was kind of my way of dealing with it, but we can Lance because I, I, we did get a Pokemon knocked out, didn't we? But my bench is kind of stuffed. Uh, I can get a Altaria down or just another Dragonite. Um, or I could Guzma. Might as well just go for it, right? I think we get another Dragonite down. Let's just be consistent here rather than greedy. Let's do that. And we actually just can search for supporters anyway. So we are we are good. We are good. I'm going to get a Cynthia and a Guzma. That's what we're going to roll with for now. See how that rolls. Oh, yeah. Sweet stuff. Good, 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 good. But, yeah, I hope everyone's doing well um, recently. But, uh, oh, got a message. Um, yeah, I hope, I hope everyone's doing well. And hopefully we don't get knocked out. Next, <laughs> I do not want to get KO'd here. But the Wish of Baton's really helping this deck. Oh, stop it. Not this. Uh, I think we play... Because um, I haven't touched this list in a while. I think we play Devoured Field? We should, at least. It's 3, 6, 9, 12. Oh, my God. They are pretty much one energy away from a KO here. Yikes. Oh, they got it as well. They got the KO. Is there Surgeon here? No. See? There we go. I haven't touched this deck in a long time. So, Surgeon actually be a really good fit because you can just look it out, right? That'd be really good. That's a really good shot, actually. All right, so they've got the KO, unfortunately, but we do have another Drag Dragonite to follow suit. But we are going down in prices like rapid. All right, let's get that on here for now. Is is Wish of Baton going? I think Wish of Baton's going as well, isn't it? Or has that been reprinted? I'm not sure. I'm not certain. Right, uh, let's, let's just, let's, oh, I don't like this, but let's just get rid of Guzma. I mean, they're probably going to be keeping the Pokemon in the active that we want to see in the active. I mean, the Macargo line really isn't that valuable now, because as so long as we find our Wishful Batons, we're in a good spot. I was tempted to get an Altaria there, but oh, we might have to, you know, just, just for the guarantee KO. So we might have to Altaria that, that Ditto rather than bring a Macargo GX in. That might be the way we're heading here. Got an energy. Sweet. Let's get ourselves an Altaria. Get rid of the red candy. We're not going to need it. Um, just so we can go for the two shot. Baton is rotating. Well, thank you for letting me know casual TCG. Um, yeah, that's that's a pain. There's so many decks that would rely on that, but so be it. Uh, right, let's just guarantee ourselves a Dragonite next turn. Because that can that will also guarantee us a draw supporter, so. Let's do that. Yeah, it's gonna go down though with no no energy to work with. Ah, uh, uh, this is this. Oh, I just fast called with a uh, cargo. <laughs> oh no, sequencing. Yikes. Um, search would be great because you're getting the supporters when you want. Yeah, no, I fully agree because you can just search out your 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 searches when you need them as well because it is quite a niche card. Uh, to be honest. So I fully agree with that. I'll say that for certain, definitely. Also, where I am right now um, in the UK, it is absolutely boiling. I'm absolutely boiling right now. I'm sweating. I'm going to see my face. I'm getting all oily. Oh, God, I am absolutely boiling. I love how we're like, Baton is meh. And not a lot of people playing it. And as it's going away, we're like, no, we went. <laughs> it's crazy how things how things become relevant. Like when Marshadow came out, no one played it. Um, cards like Switched never saw play because obviously we had the... Uh, Floatstone and Jirachi wasn't around to really utilize that. 
it, it's it's it, that's what i like about rotations though it makes cards that really weren't that valuable just become super important to the game yeah we're, we're scooping because that there is no conceding after that that's just too many turns of attachments so you can see my my, my concern with dragonite let's let's still mess around with it let's see i don't know if i uh, i called it new deck didn't i that's my flaw i call everything new deck and i lose track all right, so I think it was this one. This is the Naganado one, which plays Energy Switch. So that's a bit of a different engine, but it's a bit less consistent. Uh, that's just a peak of ROM. So that was when we played. What's this? Oh, wow, trying to make one of these decks. There's loads of decks I make that I don't even realize I make. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, I did that. Oh, that's uh, kind of cool. Let's play some Kabutops, actually. Is there any new cards that would work in this deck? I know that's that new stadium that looks really good. But I don't think there's anything Kabutops wise that would be dope. I used Baton in my Hoto Salazzle deck for two years. Hoto destroyed Rokos. <laughs> yeah. Um, are you in a part of the UK where you can go harbour jumping? It's the best. Uh, no, I'm not, unfortunately. I'm in quite, uh, quite deep in the city. So I don't really have much going on around me, unfortunately. You go outside, it's just the top. Because <laughs> you're in the city. Um, although I guess where I'm at is, is suburban. I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in London, but not on the outskirts not it, it, just in an awkward spot london's a huge city i'm in an awkward spot in london let's just say that um right i don't see anything truly valuable here if i'm going to be honest so and i was thinking there's no point in me using choice band if the exp share is going to be attached to my kabutops so i thought that would be something to bear in mind at least um oh okay afterwards i've already got an idea of what deck i want to build i really 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 want to build um Oh, I've got it's called. <laughs> ah, Porygon Whimsicott. It looks so fun. It looks so fun to build. All right. Let's go and get... We've got two more cards to really fit in here. Maybe an Oranguru won't hurt. But if you're going to support a lot then, we really shouldn't worry about that. Maybe an extra excavation map for consistency. And... What could really work here... What's our draw support line looking like? Mm, Lily. I think we need more Lily. Let's do... Should we do three Lily? Let's try that out. Let's let's give that a shot, right? I do like Kabutops a lot, but it has the same problem as Garchomp. Where, if you don't really have the energy attachments to work with it, you're not really going to get very far. So, that's why EXP shares is taking priority over Choice Band, for sure. But we, we, we do unfortunately miss out on the one hit KO on the uh, peak run though. So that's something. So maybe I should have added one instead of cutting them all out. Should have fallen on that one. Nah. Alright, let's go for this. Let's see. I've been going through this hell. Uh, no. Dead hand, unfortunately. Here's what it is. Here's what it is. Hmm. Oh, that is so bad. Okay. This is the problem with this the, with fossil decks is you can't start a fossil, which would be ideal. But you can't. So you just have to find a way to retreat all the time. But hey, so long as we get this support lock, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be the goal. As long as my tongue. All right, let's get ourselves a Volpix. Let's get one of you. Can I attach the XP share to the fossil, right? I can. I think I can. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's Lily. I don't want a Cynthia. Don't want a Cynthia. What am I sipping on? It is a Bomers. A Bomers. Obviously not sponsored. <laughs> it is a it's a Bomers. That's my 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 go to drink. It's very rare that I drink in the house though. Um, I had my brother and my best mate over just what about half an hour ago now, and we just got some drinks and stuff and chilled out. So um, that's why they're here. But that's what I drink when I go out to the club and stuff on the weekend. Come back float stone. I wish. I wish we can come back with a float. All right. This is looking pretty good. I'm liking this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I miss float stone, man. Float stone just made everything so much easier. <laughs> Doge been fixed? No, I don't think it's been fixed. Um, I have checked my Hitmon channel list and it still says banned. So, Dojo is not fixed. It's such a shame because Dojo just opens up so many options for a lot of fighting stuff. So... It's a bit of a shame. Especially Landorus. And, and that Hitmon, Hitmonchan Machamp deck that I'm talking about. Uh, that's something that really gets 
buffed by um, Dojo. So, problem with drinking bombers, it's a cider. I get very, very gassy. <laughs> start getting really gassy. I start burping everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. All right. Uh, so we can red candy, which is good news. And we can actually red candy switch and attack. So we can get the, what we want this turn, which is good stuff. And we do need to count the stadium, though. Anyway, let's, let's get this. We don't have a switch. Well, in that case, we could Ultra Ball Guzma, right? Ultra Ball, grab a Lele, go for a Guzma. That's bad because we have to drop another Lele and open up the, the old uh, Shine of Punishment a bit more, but sometimes it just be that way, right? We should get a bit of spread down as well, which is... Oh, we're playing Weezing. Yikes. Yeah, we're taking out that coffin. Uh, all right, let's go for... A, let's get rid of a Lily and a Vulpix. Get down the Lele. And get ourselves the good old uh, Guzma. I just want Dojo so Lucario can gain some viability. Oh, I didn't even think about that, man. I did not even think about that. That's a very good point. That extra 10 damage going from 120 to 130 is so crucial um, in a lot of matchups. On top of that, uh, being able to add an extra 40 damage if you are behind is crazy for Lucario. So that makes perfect sense, actually. Right, so I think it's uh, 20 to 2. So I think what we want to do is get these two for now, right? There we are. So let's do that. Sweet. I just, oh, I love Kabutops' versatility. I could go for a Super Boost, but Super Boost is a bit weird because I guess technically it could work because it can work as a, as a special type of energy, but it, the odds of getting three stage twos out with this deck is just really, really, really rare. But even in this deck, Dojo would just be so sick, you know? So, I think I really want Dojo back, but <coughs> sometimes uh, beggars can't be choosers, right? But I do wish they can fix it. I do wish they can fix it, because that's something I really want back. I love that card. It's a crazy stadium. Uh, I might just bring up this fossil, you know. Um, what are they going to do? Put, put two damage counters? Oh, and each has any damage counters on it. Okay. That's fair. So, is this a Weezing Haunter deck? That's interesting. Like, I'll give you that for certain. But I don't mind... Ditching the... Oh, you cheeky bugger. You cheeky. All right. In that case, we're screwed. <laughs> yeah. We have to find a DCE just to retreat. Yikes, man. How can we not be playing Switch in here? That is bad. Especially with Ninetales giving us so much uh, versatility in that. Yikes. That's a big yikes. All right. Biggest cross we get what we want. I can evolve you. Sweet. Um, oh. All righty. Here we go. Give me DCE just to, just to retreat. That feels so bad. Oh. Feels bad, man. And I can't even prevent damage spread. Yikes. Oh, this is game already. I can see it. Oh, I can see it. This is bad. This is real bad. Yikes. Not a good matchup, is it? I wouldn't say it's a particularly good matchup. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Oof. Anyway, I do want to just take a second here. Just, just a quick thank you for your continued support. Um, I think I'm on 182, 2,184. Didn't think I'd be saying that ever. Uh, definitely didn't. So, yeah, thank you. Everyone here as well, thank you uh, for helping out on, on the channel and stuff. It's been absolutely awesome. Everyone who's donated is insane. Um, the level of support here just to get this content out and help me is great. Um, so, yeah, just want to say a quick thank you there because I've still been keeping an eye on that and I'm still ex extremely grateful for it. Um... But that said, I wish I could thank you with a victory here, but I can't. I have to find an energy. All right, let's get rid of you two. Yeah, that stadium helped a lot, especially on turn one. I agree. Oh, okay. Let's get you out. We need to get that support a lot going again, man. So you can see, fighting Dojo would be so good here because we can just drop that shrine, man. Oh, we didn't get the energy. Oh, this is such a feel bad. We got the Guzma at least, but yikes! They just got to drop a Lele down and bang. What's this again? When you play this Pokemon, you can add. Oh, that's what they did to the Nine Tails, isn't it? You got Supporter Lock, Item Lock, Insta KOs on Basics, General High Damage. Ibrahim, how you doing? How are you doing? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think the the, the Kabu Top Summer Star thing is gonna be quite a serious deal. Quite a serious deal. I think that's why. Uh, good old uh, Maxis, was it Maxis that got banned? Just because you can go turn one Kabutops. <laughs> like, okay. You can almost get it out turn two of support and item. Not. It's just game ended stuff, man. 
for real game ending. The awkward part though with uh, Kabutops and Omastar playing together is you usually would have a, a decent board state, which means Omastar at most times won't be working, but that'd be that. Oh, they can even go for the wheezing thanks to their counter energy. Oh, this is bad. This is like going in every way wrong. I mean, we could deal spread damage to these guys, but we need to take them out, man. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, the pain. Oh, the pain. This is game, guys. This is games. He's got KO on this art. Yeah, this is game. He's way too far ahead. Do I have a spare Zorak? I don't, unfortunately. I only have three. Um, and that sounds a bit weird. I only have three, but obviously I do, I do need that for decks. So, unfortunately, I actually don't have uh, a lot of Zoroks. I actually only have ever had three. I've never had four, so... I usually I don't usually go too crazy with the Zorox, so. Um he says looking at Zorox list. Oh, there was a deck I wanted to try and I've forgotten it. Oh, I feel feel bad. There was a deck I really wanted to look at. I did do Glaceon at one point, didn't I? We could do Glaceon. Glaceon muck. That'd be interesting. That'd be real interesting. Should we mess around with Glaceon Muck? Let's mess around with Glaceon a bit. Start turning off some abilities, huh? We're going to be that guy. All right, look at this deck. I think it needs some aqua badges, if anything. Instead of judges' whistles. Let's do that. Because uh, with Quagsire, it's going to become extremely consistent. So let's aqua patch. That's not that. Aqua. One, two, three, four. Three youths. Four. That's very limiting on draw support again. Let's get rid of the EXP share. Let's rely on the aqua patch thing. Let's get you in here. See, six energy is really bad. It's tight, but it can also be grabbed through Viridian Forest. So if we go and get... Are you playing against Suez? Not particularly, but if any of you are one and you do want to match, I'm more than happy to. So, by all means, by all means. Uh, do I even need to play Muck with this? I mean, it does shut down Marshadow and it does shut down Jirachi. That's true, but I do want to get another Viridian Forest in here somehow. Huh. Don't want to get rid of the Nest Ball. That's going to be quite a bit. Maybe just drop the Choice Ban, but that's like so much damage gone. I think I might have to just stick with this for now, see how it goes. Make a slacking with Triple Acceleration. I will, buddy. I don't have enough slackings, unfortunately. I actually did think about that. Um, about... A week or so ago, I thought about making that deck. Um, I just can't find any right now, unfortunately. I looked on the market and there's just none there. But I will definitely make that. It's such a cool idea. Um, yeah, but thank you for that, Shane. And hi, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> uh, can I about you? My name is, name is I am uh, I rock, I rock. Um Yeah, I'll add you. I'll play this game now and then I'll add you after and we can jump into a game. Uh, it's fine with me, buddy. Fine with me. Um, you also can if you do want to go and jump on a series. I think it's Tuesdays, isn't it? Where I do the um, me versus you. Is that Thursdays? One or the other. I know I do with the cha no, challenges on Thursdays, me versus you on Tuesdays, yeah. So um, you can jump into my Discord and then drop a list and I can play you as well in the series. So that's something I can do as well. Anyway, so let's get into this. I do really want to mess around with Glaceon. I love that card, man. I was so excited when that card came out. In uh, Ultra Prism. So is that rotating? I think Glaceon's rotating as well, isn't it? Could be wrong. I think it is. Yikes, so much is going away. Oh, it's going to be one crazy world, man. Yeah, absolutely crazy world. Someone's making the most of the bank holiday weekend. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> it's actually for my son. He's got the whole week off, actually. It's the half term for the kids. So um, sometimes I get a little bit of a lie-in. So it's pretty dope. Pretty nice to just mess around here. And I mean, it is 2.40 a.m. So I, I need to go to bed soon. So I'll probably go to bed after the stream. Um, let's get a put down. Let's get a ditto down. Let's make sure we're versatile at least. It's going to be a bit of a very bad ultra ball. But I want to set up and get the... Well, this is kind of dead. I mean, we're not going to get any GX lock. But ultra prism onwards. So it's not going to go. You got the full half term as well, yeah? Sweet. Okay, let's get a Weeper down for safekeeping. And uh, let's drop a Lily here. 
get Glacier now. At least we're gonna be one hit KOing these uh these uh these Zards here. If we found an energy that is Jesus. Okay, let's just get a Grimer down as well so we can get some other ability lock. This is kind of bypassing the whole ability lock thing, which is a bit of a shame. Um well Glacion's still around, then that's cool. I like Glacion. I mean it's not hitting nowhere near enough damage, obviously, but I like Glacion. I do. And do you know what the, the cards I really want to try out are Flareon, Jolteon, and Vaporeon. I never got to them. They're just really hard to get a hold of. So I do want to try them out as well. So, yeah, I've had a lot of things going on, man. Um, I've got a lot of music going on recently. Uh, I've been making... I do make music. I don't... Uh, how do I describe it? I don't do it as a serious thing for the time being, but it has the potential to get serious in the future. So I'm keeping a, uh, a close eye on that. Uh, so that's what I've been doing a lot of recently, actually, just making music, making beats, uh, making tracks and stuff, which I actually do have a channel for, believe it or not. I just post it on my Twitter whenever I make it. For now, it's just been just for fun. But that's what I've been doing a lot of recently, making music and stuff. It's a great way to just uh, mess around. Um, yeah, this deck is kind of like an okay matchup. I mean, we are one-shotting them, but we don't even get to utilize the old item lock. Flare and yeah, that's true. It does. Now that I think about it. I think Wild has made so many cards reliable now. Because the funny thing is, is you can also use it on colorless Pokemon. So there's colorless Pokemon that can mess around with it like Snorlax and Eevee GX. Ho-Oh, -Oh, for example. Which, if you get a Silver Valley out, it's just constant 180s every single turn. Although that, ironically, is not enough damage. <laughs> so you better just go for the rest of your rod, right? So at least you're getting some pretty good hits. Whereas this just doesn't have it. Unless you play this with a... What do you call it? Incineroar. If you play it with an Incineroar that adds 30 extra damage, you can be hitting uh, 60 on top of that with the Choice Band, which would make uh, 250, right? No, it wouldn't. 240. Yeah, I'm going to say 250. What am I talking about? I know it's not the same if I don't say good day, sir. It isn't the same without that, Gary. Thank you, man. Thank you for coming along. You are very right indeed. It is not the same without that. All right, let's go for the good old. Yeah, let's drop you down. I don't want to get rid of that quick patch here. It's not really necessary. Is it? Not right now. It could definitely help, but I might as well just manually get one out just for the sake of it. Good day, sir, indeed. Let's drop you down. It's a shame we couldn't get that out turn one to prevent the Lele play, but so be it. Oh, see, now the Aqua Patch is relevant because I could have got this in a discard pile and then just, like swam turn, turn one, turn two, gone in easily. That's why Quagsire is in here because, uh, again, Glacian has that problem of it just not being able to attack as, as, as quickly as other cards. But this will bypass that. And that Quagsire is supposed to, supposed to help that. You could just throw this in a standard Naganado Quagsire deck, but um, it might be a bit too clunky. And I just wanted to mess around with the uh, ability lock as well. Like, shutting off GX abilities and basic abilities is quite good. Uh, in the current format, at least. Because you're shutting off Jirachis, uh, you're shutting off Marshadows, you're shutting off your Zero Aura GXs. Shutting off a lot of stuff. You can't add me for some reason. I might be full on friends. I'll try and give you an ad. Uh, I've got your name here. Let me save it quickly. Don't leave, it's my fault. Dan knows what is up. Yes, he does. Of course he does. Been about long enough. Um, another Ho-Oh going down. All right, sweet. I actually have this card in real life, this promo one. Got a tin. So long ago. Damn, these cards have been out for ages now that you think about it. Gosh. Yeah, it, oh, but Welder is just it's fun. It's fun. It's just outright fun. Like There should be definitely more cards like that coming about, man. It's just really jokes. Uh, are they getting a KO? Yes, they are. I did not see you down there. Oh, yikes. I mean, the shame is, is that we actually aren't hitting them for weakness. That's a bit of a yikes from me. I'll tell you that one. All right. Uh, Erica's better here, so let's go for the Erica. See what we got rolling here. Oh, okay. We got the... Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Let's go into the Ho-Oh -oh here. They don't have enough to go for another attack at some point, so. Hearing that frame busted. Did I, did, I, did I say the phrase busted? Did I just say that? Am I not even paying attention? 
Zekro, first time catching me on stream. Hello, welcome along, welcome along. Thank you for coming by. Good day, sir. Good day, I say. Uh, right. Well, I guess I'll just give him an Eevee. In that case. Love for Andrew. Love for Andrew. Much love for Andrew, man. Much love for Andrew. He was one of the first uh, YouTubers I watched on Pokemon, actually. It's him and PTCG Radio. They're the first ones that actually got me into the game. I started watching, I think, PTCG Radio. Uh, I don't know if it was like a month or so after I started collecting cards. Because I started, I got back into collecting. Because that's what I used to do a lot when I was younger. Um, and then I started watching PTCG Radio. started seeing him talk about the cards competitively. And I was like, oh, this is intriguing. Watched Tricky Jim play a bunch of meta decks. And I was like, ah, I like this stuff. Started playing around, messing about. Made my first ever deck video, which was a Mewtwo GX Lunala GX. Which is not that good a deck, but it's my first ever one. I was really proud of it. Um, that I can live through then. <laughs> yeah, you can. Uh, we're always channeling our inner Mahone. Oh, bust it. <laughs> yeah. Don't. He's definitely... Um, Definitely had influence on me, of course. 100%, I'd say. Um, right. There's moves I can make here. I think I've got a play here, actually. I think I have a play. I think I have a, a Glaceon to throw down right now. That would work. If I get this in the discard pile, I get another water out, right? And if I get you into play... <laughs> I'm stupid. I can retreat at least, but I completely forgot we shut off abilities. <laughs> oh my god, talk about shooting yourself in the foot. Am I right? Alright, let's just leave that because we want to get as much as we can off this lily. Hopefully we get some sort of Glaceon. We don't. It looks like we're going down to Retreat Town, but... What? This card is two Retreat? Fine. I'll pay the whole price then. <laughs> get in there. Sure, I'll go for the double retreat. That's painful. Yikes. We still get the we still get the hit though, so we'll 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 take it. We'll take it. Biggest common choosers. Let's get this on a quagsire for the time being. Sweet. Okay, so we'll frost bullet into probably you and uh, leave it like that, I'd say. I'd say like that. Dude, Mahoney is the reason I say dude and bro. And man so much. It's a curse because it's just slipped into my vocabulary. It's funny. I actually started saying that a lot when I was going out with my mates. Not dude so much because we're in, we're in the UK. That's not really actually used, very very much used over here. Bro Chacho. <laughs> Bro's it. Mind blown. Brokerly. <laughs> what are you guys on? Honestly, the phrase busted has been in my vocab for years. Thanks to that guy. <laughs> yeah. He just makes it sound so great. He's like, oh, busted. <laughs> busted. Bro Tato chip. Oh, gosh. Two retreat costs, I know, right? Don't. Pain. Absolute pain. I did not even think about that. Alright, I don't mind benching this Reaper just in case the Quaggy goes down. Quaggy Waggy. Right. Let's go and drop you. Oh, we're getting some, some juice out of this right now. Sweet. I could comfortably throw this down. This guy is a definitely a struggling. We can just hold it. We can just hold it. Frost bullets onto you. Yep. Sweet, so we know we've got a frost bullet on that for game, which is good. I can Guzma. Probably hit into this. Um, not for KO, but we can hit into this definitely with a Guzma play with the next Glaceon. That would be cool. How long are going to stream for? Probably. How long have we been going? That's the question, right? How long have we been going for? We're going for. So we started around 2 a.m. ish, right? So I'd say maybe about another half an hour, roughly, I'd say. That would be my 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 guess for now. Probably just get the hour in and then get some sleep. Yeah. But uh are they gonna go did they didn't really promote this thing? I'm assuming they're going for the retreat on it. But we do have a, a sneaky little Guzma, which is good. But we can take this one out and we can hit into this. It's gonna be quite hard to get. Oh, I'd say this maybe. That's got a much heavier retreat cost. And it's weak. Oh, yeah. We could definitely get game next turn. Ha ha. Yeah, see? As soon as I realized that you dropped the message, Dan. As soon as I realized that it's like Goose Return there. Yep. Got it. Got it. Got it. Speaking of busted, how about a new Dragonite? Oh. Yes, I agree. Okay, let's just go for game here. We got it. Thanks to weakness. Uh, we'll go for the well played on this guy. Sweet. There we are. Frost bullet for game. Frost bullet for game. We on that same wavelength, Dan. You're just a bit faster. <laughs> um, that boy's an absolute unit. 
Um, what was you saying? Sorry about the new Dragonite. I, I think, isn't that the one that does like insane damage, like 270 or something? That's just crazy. It's just stupid. Absolutely stupid. I do want to... Uh, oh, I'm musing is challenging me right now. Okay. I did say I would... If you're watching this, I'm sorry. Because I did say I would play... Um, Ibrahim. If I can try and get him. So I am Rox 2002. I'm going to decline it. Drop this guy a message quick. I'm just saying I'm about to play a viewer. And then I'm just about... I'll play you after. There we are. Yeah, I've got to keep things, things as fair as I can. Let me see if I can add you. It should let me add you. There we are. So I've added you. Ibrahim, if you're about. And uh, we can play a game. I'm going to be a bit mean and play Whimsicott. <laughs> um, it, unless they mess up your hand. And you... Uh, Cancelled that too, my dude. Oh, it's you, Ian. What, what I'll do is I'll play um, thingy, Ibrahim, if he's about. I'm not sure right now because he's, he's not popped up in the chat recently. So if he's about, I'll give you... If he, um, after that, I'll give you a game. If not, I'll just I'll play you, buddy. Always good with me, man. Always good with me. Um, what are we looking for? I was actually looking for... Might as well while we're here. Porygon. Give this a look card. I'm getting... There we are. I see what people are looking for. Uh, offering, should I say, for it. No, it's not Porygon. No, it is Porygon. It's Porygon Z, isn't it? Is this the one? No, that's the wrong one. Porygon Z. Giraffe Neck Mark. How are you doing, buddy? How are you doing? I might as well just call you Mark, right? <laughs> How are you doing? Thanks for joining along, man. Thanks for coming along. Hello, good sir. Hello, sir. All right, so what are people asking for this thing? Oh, just the pack, really. Okay. I don't mind just doubling up on that or getting three of them. That sounds kind of cool. Let's see if I've got those codes that... Um, Pokemon Nerd Center over on Twitter sent over to me. Let's see. Let's have a looky. Let's have a looky. Uh, I'm playing a crappy Machank Nag deck. This is a bad time. <laughs> oh, it's a bad meme, sorry. Obviously, this is a bad time. That is a bad meme. Uh, I mean, there is, there is an actual good-looking Machamp deck coming about it's a bit of a counter deck though so i can see why it's a mean deck uh let me just see quickly if i can get some codes up and if i can get some codes then i can indeed um get a porygon z going i mean what i might do uh just to be fair is probably just get into a game right now if are you about buddy if not um i'll definitely play you ian i don't mind Grinding some PTCGO. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Oh, that's just asking for a poor... Okay, now that's cool. Um, right, I don't think Ibrahim's about. So, Ian, if you're still here, I don't mind giving you a game, buddy. I don't mind giving you a game. Where's my Whimsicott? I make too many decks, man. How many decks have I got active? I have 212 just decks I can play. Oh, my gosh. It's just silly. I have made one, which... I don't know if I did a video on yet. But I will be if not. This is the one I've got so far. It's not Whimsicott and Porygon. Uh, Whimsicott Porygon, sorry. And obviously Whimsicott Porygon is better. But I did want to just mess around and go for the the Lele version, which I've seen a lot of. Um, yeah, no worries, no worries again. Um, which is the one where basically you have to flip two coins to attack you pretty much every single turn. It's insane. So we're going to be playing this one. Uh, messing about with it. It's fun. We've got a little Robombi in, uh, in here as well, sorry, which kind of prevents some, some Guzma plays on the Lele's, which is quite good. So... Uh, it was real fun watching him. I really got my head off. I've seen it since very nice. Yeah. Have a good sleep, Dan. Have a good sleep. Um, I'll see you when I see you, buddy. I'll see you when I see you. Um, you're going to send an, a, a challenge. All right, Ian. I am ready when you are, man. I am ready when you are. I'm ready, buddy. Yeah, this Rimscope deck is fun. It's a bit tedious, though. I'll give you that. I mean... You're going to get guys going around here just insta-quitting on you because they just see a whimsical on a lay lane and like, nope. <laughs> I ain't doing that. I also want to mess around with White Curum, but I want to... Do, sorry, with, with the actual Curum. Kind of just taking this deck and replacing it with Curum. I want to do that as well. That would be fun. Still lo loads of ideas up in the old noggin. I'll say that. I'll say that. All right, let me just scroll all the way to the end of my insane deck list. Count. <laughs> Got too much going on. I need to clean this out, man. See you in a bit, Ian. See you in a bit. Thanks for... Uh, 
appreciating the game. Keeping it all fair. Appreciate that, man. For real. For real. All right, let's go. What deck you're playing? Oh, yeah, you're obviously playing like a deck, aren't you? <laughs> I'm seeing it. Let's see how this goes, though. I am interested. Do you know what? I wish I could play some music right now, but with YouTube, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you never know nowadays. But I will be jumping onto Twitch soon. I actually had a lot of um, a lot of suggestions for that, actually, to, to work on Twitch. So I'll get that going as well. It'll be fun. So, yeah, streams might be moving back over to Twitch. I might just do an on and off thing where sometimes I stream here, sometimes I stream on Twitch. When I stream on YouTube, it's more just like, ah, for like streaming, let's just jump on. Um, whereas Twitch might be a bit more of a schedule thing. That's what I'm thinking, right? Um, but yeah, let's see. Let's see what we're up against here. With this turn one. Rip. Rip, buddy. Rip. Rip, rip, rip. So, oh, okay. He's talking about the... Yeah, okay. Oh, buddy. Um, I don't think we have our fighting fairy charm. No! <laughs> we have ability fairy charm. I mean, we need to attach something just to maximize Lily here. So we might as well get this down. And drop ourselves good old Lele, which we will save for next turn. Oh, nice. Scary. See, do I touch the fairy charm now and go for the confusion or not? I think I think I save it to next turn. I'll at least do it on the turn I'm attacking on, right? That's what I'm thinking at the very least. Now, don't get me wrong. Wings of Cop, Porygon can just do buttloads of damage real quick. Um, whereas this deck is a lot more uh, grindy, <laughs> I would say. You know, it's, this one's a lot more about staying alive rather than getting the big KOs. So you kind of sacrifice damage for survivability in this deck. Which uh, some may say is good, some may say is bad. I like Mina, it's kind of cool. You can just throw an energy, buff your damage a little bit. But I'm not sold on it yet in this deck. But this deck plays a lot slower than Porygon Z. So, yeah, it's definitely something. Oh, yeah, just going straight for the old... Uh, Field blower here. Oh, buddy, don't. Oh, I feel so bad. Waiting for a blast eject deck. Good guy, I will bring one out soon. I will promise you. I will definitely have one of them out because that's already on my radar. All right. Let's get ourselves probably a beginner. No. I mean, for now, we'll just get this out because we need to just be as consistent as we can. I might as well go for the confusion. Yeah, the yikes. Yikes, buddy. Yikes. Let's get this here. I'm playing it because I don't have Porygon Z. I don't have Porygon Z currently. I have... How many? One. <laughs> I have one Porygon Z, but it's not going to be a trouble to get one. So I will definitely get some. But the first thing I thought of was, was let's, let's not jump into the Porygon Z train yet. Let's just mess around with it a little bit. Uh, I saw this one going about and thought, let's give it a shot. So it is something I kind of just felt like messing around with, if anything. Oh, if this guy doesn't get the retreat, that is nice. Nice, good old... Uh, KO here. We're already hitting 70. Is that enough to get the KO? No, it's not. So, it is not. But yeah, uh, Kuka, if I'm pronouncing your name correctly, I would definitely get a Blastoise deck out. Don't you worry about that one. I love a Lele. I guess. Right, no, it could be Ultra Ball material, so let's just let's just go for this KO here. Now, if we do get a bit stuck, um, we can go for a... Is it Toy Box GX? We can definitely do that. We even got the Magina to get the confusion again. And Toy Box GX is a lot more safer in this version of the deck. Because as long as you get Confusion down, they don't have any sort of switch or retreat or anything like that. Then it can work out. Now, fingers crossed they flip tails because... Oh, we flip heads. Because they are going to be hitting some good damage this turn with the Marshadow. Because of the old uh, revenge attack, which is what I'm assuming they're looking to do at least. And I don't know if they're, if they're playing Naganado for energy switch plays. That might be what they're doing. Could be wrong. Don't get me wrong. I could be wrong. Oh, Shaco Zekra. Did you follow me on Twitch? I appreciate that, buddy. I appreciate that, buddy. So I had my whole recent stuff here and I haven't even checking it. I have my volume off, so I can't hear. So sorry about that if it did come up. Um, yeah. So hopefully they don't get they don't get the hit on us. They won't KO us regardless, I think. They're hitting 120, 150. Uh, yeah. The Dianse would only make it 170. They have to play Dianse and Kikui, which is not going to happen, I don't think so. I think we're good. I think we're good. Don't leave. It's my fault. Oh, they're good. really digging. Are they going to get Dianse out now? It's interesting. 
We'll see how that goes. Hey, this was a really good card to work with in the um, the one Pokemon deck challenge I did recently. Because, uh, yeah, this was basically any Pokemon, which is really good in that challenge. Oh, we flipped tails. Yikes. Oh, give me a triple colorless. Oh, that's kind of useful. Okay. Um, that's kind of dope. We could double mean here. So that's 3, 6, 9, 12. We're not getting a KO, unfortunately. So maybe I just attach here a Mina to the bench. Let's just double check it. 3, 6, 9, 12. Yeah, that's not a KO without a choice ban. So we might as well just stay consistent at least. Go for the confusion. So they got a double flip to be able to get to, to even attack us. That's crazy. So let's let's do that. Sweet. And let's just go in for the energy blow. So yeah, damage, damage is very limited on this one, but it's all about making sure we, we make them struggle. That's the idea at least. But I think if I do do a deck on it, like an actual video, it'll probably be the Porygon Z one, because that one just looks exciting. Absolutely exciting. This one's more of a grinder. But yeah. But this, this is one of my favorite decks of the new set, actually, Whimsicott. I'm not sold on the... I mean, don't get me wrong. I love, I love Tag Team GXs. I love Tag Team GXs. But I'm not sold in the top tier meta ones. Not in a sense where I'm not sold as in I don't think they're good enough. But you know me. I like my, my, I like my tier two. <laughs> I like the low-key stuff that kind of just slightly just slips under the rug. But has some viability. Um, which is why I really like getting that Clefable one out. I think that's one of those decks where it's just... Um, really didn't get much attention because of so much archetypes in this list. Um, and it's actually extremely viable. Um, in my personal opinion, being able to hit damage at Gramble levels consistently is pretty cool. So, with, with less of a hassle, should I say. Less of big brain plays. <laughs> as long as you just energy switch right and move things around correctly, then yeah, it tends to work out pretty good. Okay, so are they going to retreat? I've got a retreat, right? Oh, yikes, buddy. Yikes, 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 yikes. Sometimes that just be what we, what they do. Okay, I'm I'm hoping we have rescue stretch up because I'm about to ditch this this Lele here. Give me some stuff. Labyrinth. Oh yeah, that's what we want. That is what we want. All right, so blah, blah, blah. I don't think I'm gonna attach anything yet, like any choice banner or anything of the sorts. But we got that Mars Shadow, sweet. Nice. So yeah, that this this is this is where this deck works out because let's say. If he only flipped the coin that he needed to flip. Or say, let's say if I only flipped like one coin rather than him having, him having to flip the confusion than me flipping. Um, is that he would have actually had the potential to get through to us and give us a KO. But Now the big issue with this deck is when you get a KO. Because they can come up and they're not confused and it just goes back to the singular coin flip. But, you know, that'd be that. Oh wow, that's smart. Just go for the KO where you can. Right? Now we just need a Guzma play. And that's it. So we find that, which we actually can. We can really dig for it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. We can just goose up one of these and get game just real quick. Just to dig for it, though. But the Dedenne is there for us, so. That's the problem with the Dedenne versus Lele thing. The Dedenne gives you so much more cards in one turn, but Guzm um, Lele gives you Guzma, guaranteed, <laughs> which is a, is a game-winning card. But what would you say? Guzma? So Guzma? Would you say Dedenne or Lele? If you were to compare the two, because I know they're in their own little space, but if you were to compare the two, what would you play over the other? If you only had room for one? That's that's a that's, that's quite a tough question in my opinion. Personally, I'd say it does depend on your build. If you're going for more turbo Dedenne, if you're going for just overall consistency, maybe Lele. That's my thought at least. Now they can't go for their crazy attack to get the KO without another energy in play, so... On the active, sorry, because of our Wondrous Labyrinth. Which they may have just overlooked. Alright, let's go. Let's dig. We're going to dig like real hard for this Dedenne here. Alright. For this Dedenne. Sorry, for this uh, Guzma. Let's ditch a McGinner. Let's ditch it. Alright, Guzma. I want to see a Guzma. This is like a, a, a big risk play here. Gotta see. Yeah, there we go. All right, buddy. Ian, I apologize, my man, but we have game. We have game. There we go. So, Wimscott's going to come here and we get the KO without even going down by a single prize card. Sweet. Bricked. Unlucky, bud. Unlucky. 
Happens to the best of us. Uh, Lele. I love Lele Guzman for game. Yeah, that's like, it's... That's what's kind of selling me on Lele a bit. You can at least guarantee yourself game at some points, right? That's whimsical. Um... Oh, Guan's man sent me a trade. Let me go. Let me go check that out. See, the, the hard thing I think is uh, realizing who is who, because I know people have different YouTube names for so their usernames. So, oh, buddy, you didn't have to. Oh, you're awesome. You are awesome. You are awesome. Guan's man, what? Why is that really ringing a bell? Why is that really ringing a bell? Well, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't want to guess who it is because I could get it wrong and that'd be bad. That'd be stupid. That would be stupid. Why does that really ring a bell? What? All right. Well, thank you so much. Let's build the Porygon Z deck. Let's build it. Let's build it. All right. Let's do this. So, I haven't actually seen any builds, so I'm just going to wing it. I'm just going to absolutely wing it here. I think I'm going to go fresh here, you know? That's just a different deck. So, I think I'm just going to go completely fresh. Whimsicott. But yeah, if you did donate that and I didn't remember the name, um, it's not direct. Don't take it personally. It's just I have so many people on that friends list now. I have no idea who is who when relating it over to YouTube or over to Discord because people have different names on TCGO in comparison to their, uh, their YouTube and stuff. So it's quite hard to figure out who's who. Um, let's go in. Guansman is an absolute legend. Agreed. Fully agreed. All right, let's get you... Um, I think I want to go for a 2-1-2 line, maybe. Like, like that. Oh, I did have... There we are. I did have some. So maybe I can give it back. I did have... I thought I only had one, but apparently I had two. Okay. Um, do I go three? Three, one, three. Three, two, three. Like that. Just for like real consistency. Lele's, right? Hmm. Why did I say oh, I'm gonna say Ranguru. Maybe that is that a bit too basic? Yeah. It is. I know what it's missing. Volpix! Mixing missing a Volpix Ninetales line. Come on. That's a lot of Pokemon though. Yikes. Yeah, let's go for the 2-1-2 two, two line. Um, yeah. Do you reckon just 2-2? Two, two? We could just go... Yeah, we could just rely solely on rare candy, but... What we'll do is we'll cut it out, and if we do have space, then we'll get, we'll get the other one in. Right. But I know it does work, because obviously Vikavolt has been proven to work like that with Rayquaza, right? Okie dokie. Let's start with the supporter line. We've got to get our, our basics in there. I mean, I'm a bit curious as to whether we focus on Cynthia as much as we should. Um, I guess we can because what's going on in my head is shuffle draw is not really that great when you're trying to find a card combo like Red Candy and a Pokemon. But we have uh, um, Lele. We have Ninetales to work with that, I guess. So that's cool. Um, what else could we work with? Obviously, we've got to get our Lilies in. Maybe we do like that and then throw in some Erica's. That's usually... Erica's I'm not fully sold on yet, but enough to throw two. <laughs> enough to throw two. Obviously, rare candies. Item time. Rare candies. Let's get some rare candies in there. Rare candies. Uh, do we want Elm? I think Elm would be really good here. That's Elm's lecture. No, ditto. Aha! See? This is why I need you here, Mark, man. Helping me out. Ditto. Agreed. Agreed, 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 agreed. Very much agreed. There we go. Um, in that sense, considering we're playing a ton of Pokemon, we want Pokemon communication. Because uh, that's going to help. I'll probably just throw the one. Probably for the one Nest Ball, just for a bit of boost in the setup play. Get some Ultra Balls down, I reckon. Um, I think we got the, the, the core kind of sorted out. We could double Nest Ball just to be super safe. Let's get Choice. Like that. Some switches. I think just double switch would be fine. Um, Guzma's, obviously. Guzma! And uh, we do need a ton of energy. So maybe we go for... Oh, we need DCE. That's for certain. We need TCE. 
which is what everyone has agreed to calling it. <laughs> but I can't write TCE, can I? No, I can't. Oh, energy loss. So yeah, I like that. I like that. Let me just grab some units as well. Some fairy units. And some rainbows as well. I think rainbows is thrown in this deck, isn't it? Fairy charm. I don't think we're going to have room for fairy charm. I think fairy charm's dope, but I don't think we're going to have room for it in this deck. We're going to play like crazy energy counts. Maybe we'll just go down to 14. Yeah, I think that would work. Um, let's, get, let's get cutting. Let's get cutting. I have to cut the Pokecom. That's just thrown in there for luxury. Cut another Nespor's thrown in there for luxury. Energy loss. So let's replace that with an error card. Say. Energy lotto. We can go down to. We can up a Erica and go down to three Cottony. That kind of works, I guess. Um, and maybe go up to that. Maybe that's more consistent. I would do the Fairy Charm tools, but this one's going for heavy KOs rather than survivability, this type of deck. That's, that's my thought process, at least. I think this is what we've got for now. It looks fun. It looks like it will work. It is very raw, but it has a goal and it's trying to achieve that goal. I think this is what we're going to work with. So I think we're going to roll with this for now. I'm going to call it Whimsy. Whimsy! Let's go for a game, Whimsy. All right. Sounds like Lindsay. Um, yeah, it's cool. All right. Let's roll with this. Let's roll with this. Thank you again, Guan's man, who I don't know... Who it is, but it's got to be one of you. It's got to be one of you. Because uh, you did donate it, so you're clearly in the chat. Hmm? I'm watching you. <laughs> thank you, though. Seriously, thank you. Um, I, I do appreciate it. What's going on there? How you gonna lie like that? Hmm. Don't tell me we're up against another one of those spreads Gengar decks. Oh, please don't. Oh, that's a pain. I do want to mess around with that Gengar as well. It looks fun. But it's not fun to play against, right? Speaking of, can't wait to actually get some Weezings as well. That looks fun. Is it you? Is it Shane? Oh, Shane, stop it. Now I get it. Cosmo must be a legend. You. <laughs> See, that went straight over my head. Absolutely over my head. You know what? Listen, it's 3 a.m. Give me a break. All right. <laughs> Give me a break. Give me a break. Um. Yeah, I feel kind of uh, stupid. <laughs> All right, let's get you into play. And we have to get some stuff down. I'll probably just grab a Lele and play Elm. Probably get rid of the Switch and Vulpix, maybe. Let's see what our top deck is before we start going crazy with the judgments. Wow, they got free mulligans. Stop it. What is this? Oh, my gosh. All right, just keep torturing me then. <laughs> yikes. Absolute yikes there. Oh, well, so be it. Oh, ho, ho. okay. Don't be item lock. That will be a pain. But this is a lower number to hit for a tag team GX. You give me two wee things. Uh, I would appreciate that mark a lot, actually. Yeah, um, I can actually give you something in return. So what you can do if you want, you can just look through my stuff. And if there's anything you think you need, just, yeah, go for it, buddy. Go for it. Um, same with you, Shane. If you do want anything back in return for the Porygons, I'm more than happy to, buddy. More than happy to. Um, yeah. Oh, I got an energy spinner as well. Damn. This is definitely the item lock. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> They're going to get their turn two Omastar as well. This deck is so good at getting turn two Omastar. It's just so good at it. I don't, I don't have any we Weezings at all, actually. But don't, don't pressure yourselves. Don't pressure yourselves. Seriously, I don't mind um, trading up to them as well. So don't honestly, don't pressure yourselves. Um, yikes, this is bad because we're going to have to have a bunch of Pokemon down, which means we're going to have to have the item lock, unfortunately. Yikes, 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 yikes. Okay. We got to do what we got to do, man. So long as we can just get a Whimsicott out, we should be fine. So we need to really do that and also to get a Porygon out. So that's my thought process at least. Let's go, let's go, let's go for these three. I think that's the most valuable one at least. 
Ninja Zoro, oh my gosh, you guys are just incredible. You guys are absolutely awesome. Uh, you got eight, bloody hell yeah. You're sorted, aren't you? <laughs> You're sorted for that deck, gosh. Sorted for seconds. Um, right, let's grab these two. Um, thank you guys so much, honestly, um, for offering everything out. I genuinely appreciate it. It helps a lot. And I actually do, uh, Ian, I do want to really want to make a Ninja Zoro deck. So if you do have one spare, that would be really great because I'd love to get one of those ones out. I have so many fun ideas with that deck. Because like just a Rayquaza on steroids, <laughs> you know, it's really, really powerful um, if you get it right. And that's my goal. My goal is to get it right for the time being. Before the Weavile comes out, at least, right? I love messing around with decks that are like, they're about, but they're not like fully formed yet. Oh, stop it. Not a judge. Yikes. Should have saw that coming. Oh, well. Just give me a good... Did I attach an energy to the Porygon? I did, didn't I? Huh. <laughs> I think I need to go to bed. <laughs> I think I need to go to bed, man. This is just... This is just stupid now. This is just stupid. <laughs> Oh, yikes. Okay, they're going to get the KO on the Vulpix. We do have the Ditto down, so that's fine. That is fine. <laughs> Shit. Don't encourage you to play that stack on stick. It, it is stanky, isn't it? It's a real stanky deck. <laughs> I'm going to call it. I'm just going to call it stanky deck. <laughs> Here it comes. At least I'm not getting out this turn because this is the turn now where we get things going a little bit. And also like this, that's a cool little inclusion in the deck. Kind of just forcing them to have trainers in hand. Probably going to throw the elm in my hand, I'd say. That's the least useful one. But we're going to ultra ball those away, so I'm fine with that. Same with energy loss. Ah, maybe we could use energy loss a bit. Maybe we could get ourselves a TCE out. And just go in for like a massive hit. So that's fine. You take this out. That's all good. That's all good. We're just going to come in and... Whack ya. I'll be so pissed if I'm like 30 damage off and it's because I threw an energy on this thing. Uh, uh, now that new... Um, what's the... What do you call it? So the Greninja Dorak is only dark energy, isn't it? I don't know if it's basic dark energy though, because I'm thinking. Because you can mess around Porygon Z with that. That'd be fun. Because you can just go unit, 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 rainbow, 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 and then bang, smash. I know Greninja Zorak is incredible in Expanded, though. I just really want to make it good in Standard, man. It's such a fun deck. But then with Pika and rolling around, you have the fighting, and then that's the counter to Dark. It's just ugh, a bit of a tough spot. Anyway. Oh, we top deck the TC. Oh, this is just going to oh, is... be crazy. All right, we're going to go in. Absolutely go in right now. Here we go. We're going to get the good old... Good old rare candy at. Yeah, we are. I think we just get a nest ball here just to get another thingy my bob down. Man, we can go crazy this turn. All right, here we go. Um, oh, 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 this is exciting. This is absolutely exciting. Uh, how much damage are we actually hitting, though? That's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, choice band, um, 210. We need 30 more energy. <laughs> we need 30 damage. Oh, of course. Of course. Okay. We're going to ultra ball away the Elm and the Cottony. Oh my god, we don't even have any other stuff to work with. Yikes. Okay. Uh, I think the Choice Band does it, right? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Oh no, no, it doesn't do it. Energy Lotto, please. Okay, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to create a code first. Now I know don't click done. I've been told this many a times. Or I've heard it many a times, should I say. Do not click done. Done. Do not click done. <laughs> then we on a gelato. Oh yeah. <laughs> right, we want to get as much permanent on this as possible for the time being. So let's let's just go for the crazy code. Man, this ability is just oh my god, it's just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Oh, we can just keep going, but we gotta calm down. We're just we're just being stupid now. Skadoosh! <laughs> 280 damage. Oh, oh, oh. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. And they still got a flip a coin to take us out. So now that is uh, three energy down, but that's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. I'm 190 right now. 
just base damage. Oh my gosh. You can see why everyone's playing this deck over the other one. <laughs> just crazy damage, so quick. Oh, buddy, that ain't gonna stop me, man. That ain't gonna stop me. You gotta get something down right now. And if they drop a Gengar, it is just game. It's just... Oh, don't bench it, buddy. I got the Guzma for game right here. Right now. Right here. Right now. Right here. I think we have Guzma for game. Yes! Energy low clutch. You know that, Mark. You know that. You know them. You know them ones. Mario, how you doing, buddy? How are you doing? I hope you are doing well. I hope you are doing well, my friend. Uh, let's get you down. Is that game 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18? Yes. But we do need to get ourselves some sort of switch. Do need to get ourselves a switch. So, now we just Cynthia and hope for the best. Get a switch. Ba-boom. Or a DCE. We can retreat. We can retreat. We can retreat, right? This should allow retreat. It's be the vehicle. <laughs> that should allow retreat. I click done. Okay, I can click done there. Retreats. Just in case my maths is just bad. Does the rainbow energy still activate here? It does. Oh, interesting. Skadoosh for game. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stop it. This is crazy. All right. We'll go for one more game. We'll go for one more game. Thanks to um, a man or Shane for donating to allow me to actually go ahead and uh, do that. Versus Zika. Actually, let me make let me leave that private. Um, oh, what, what are you doing? What are you doing, Shane? What are you doing out here, man? What are you doing, buddy? Oh, the slack. You really want me to do that slacking, don't you? <laughs> All right, buddy. Thank you, man. Again, if there's anything you need in return, let me know. For real. But um, I will get a slacking deck going just for you, man. Just for you. Trust me. I'll get that sorted. Can't do it today in the stream, unfortunately. I'm going to bed after this game. It's free. Um, but I'll definitely start working on that when I can. And get that one out soon for you. Um, so, yeah. I've got a few decks lined up now, which is great. Oh, it's this. I see a dragon. I see a fire. What would that be? I'm not sure. Oh, Whimsicott is such a fun deck. I love it. I absolutely love this deck. And it's not even that hard to get going with the whole Vulpix thing. What we can do next turn is at least Vulpix. So, so long as we get a Porygon benched, we can at least Vulpix for some, <laughs> something that is uh, able to get us out of this hand. This is a bad hand. Absolutely bad hand. Ian, thank you so much for the Zoro. Thank you for the Zoro. Turtonator? Oh, it's Vol Vol Volcanian. But it, I, yeah, it could have been Turtonator. Yeah, oh, I know what you're about. Yes, yes, yes. You can be right. It's Turtonator. Turtonator. Again, Ian, thank you, buddy. Thank you. I will get Zoro on that list as well. That means that would be really fun to do. I really want to mess around with that one. Oh, we got great inspiration, huh? Okay, okay. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's Turtonator. Yeah, it's definitely Turtonator, man. Turtonator. Sorry, it's my, that's my London. Londoner accent coming through. Turtonator. Can't even say my T's. Yep, that's definitely Turtonator. Ooh. Kind of like Turtonator, but at that point, you're better just doing Blacephalon, no? Blacephalon's a lot more reliable, I guess. Speaking of, speaking of, I actually haven't been keeping track, but has... Blacephalon. We have to turn my beacon in. This is bad. Has Blacephalon actually... Let's do this for now. Uh, been doing well in recent tournaments. Not 100% sure of that, actually. What have Pokemon to want? Oh, Mark, I'm all good, buddy. I'm all good. I, literally. Um, genuinely, thank you. Thank you so much for offering, buddy. I, I really do appreciate it, but... Uh, I don't want to be taking everything from everyone. <laughs> you know? Like, give me this. Give me that. Give me this. No. No, I'm not a taker. I'm a giver, man. I'm a giver. But yeah, thank you though. Thank you, genuinely. Uh, are you streaming Twitch as well? I will be. I will be, Emily. Speaking of, thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Um, yeah, I will be streaming soon um, on Twitch and stuff. I've got to get that set up a bit properly. I have, the, I have a header on right now, which is my old YouTube name, so I need to change that. Uh, but I do want to get that going. That will probably have a bit more of a schedule. I'll have to think about that a bit more um, to see how exactly I can do that. But I will look to do some streams. Oh, I whistled there. And this is bad, man, because... I really wanted to get turn two Porygon, but 
We have it. We have it in hand, but hopefully, don't go for some something like that. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Sad thing is, we can't actually. We really don't want to leave this hand because we we really want you. Okay. We might have to just since you're out of this hand because we just ah oh, we can Erica for three, but like, what is it really worthwhile? And we can't even Erica. Okay. This is weird, but I'm gonna Elm's lecture. I'm gonna have faith. I'm gonna have faith. I'm gonna have faith in my heart of the cards. Still gets played here and there. The baby version. Baby blend uh, or blown, I guess. Uh let's get you and you and you and you. Let's do that. At least we have some sort of consistency on the board for our hand right now. That's what I'm thinking at least. We have some good damage output next turn. Let's hold off the Porygon. No, because this is definitely going down. So I doubt we're going to keep this bad boy alive. Um, yeah, I'm talking more Blacephalon GX. I, I, I don't know how that's been doing. I know Baby. Baby Blown has been doing all right. So I'm thinking at least. Oh, speaking of, if any of you guys watch anime, have you been watching the new One Punch Man? I've been so excited for that thing. If any of you have been watching it, let me know your thoughts. Love to know your thoughts. V could watch GX Attack right there. <laughs> um, that's a card I've been wanting to look at for ages, V could especially now with the bloody um, Charger Bug engine. Crazy engine. Because you can just recycle energy effectively, right? Because you can rescue stretch and use lure ball to bring those cards back into hand and just be like, yep, yeah, we've got a ton of energy, bang. <laughs> you know? Crazy. Crazy. Absolute craziness. All right, I'm just going to heat blast again. Okay, so be it. We are kind of dead drawing. One punch is so hype. You know that, Ian. Yes, you do. Good stuff. Um, all right. We can work with this. We can get an ultra ball off this and grab a Lele, right? That's what I'm thinking, at least. Awkward, though. We have to discard some sort of energy, which is never good. And an energy lotto. Unless we just grab something we can discard right now, like this nest ball. Yeah, let's get rid of the nest ball and the lotto. So we can just keep as much energy in play as possible. Get the Lele, get the energy down. Use Lele to grab a Lily. And just hope to God we draw into a Whimsicott. Because we are literally going to ditch this whole hand onto a single Cottony. So, yikes. Yep, ouch. Alright, here we go. Fingers crossed. We just need a Whimsicott. And we have to, have to make sure it doesn't just get KO'd as well next turn by that bloody small axe just sitting there, like, waiting. Yeah, I'm going to take you out. Hopefully we get heads. Hopefully we get heads. Right, there's a Whimsicott. We have to get heads because we have nothing to follow up with here. We are getting a KO at least, so let's just, let's just, let's just get you in here so we can go for some other attack as well. Um, that one punch man is good right now. I watch a show called School Live. It looks cute, but it's not... I'm assuming you're saying not anime, or... But yeah, with, with, with One Punch Season 2, I've been kind of on the fence about it. Because obviously it's, it's been taken on by a different um, production company, if I'm correct. So the art style is a bit different and a bit harder to get used to. There's some points where it really it, they did laze a little bit and be like, they could have made a better looking scene, like in the original One Punch series. But still liking it though. And I think it is kicking off a bit, so I'm getting more exciting. I don't know if the next one is out yet. I know it's weekly, am I right? Could be wrong. Could be very, 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 very wrong. At least. Anyway, that said, let's get back to this game. Oh, they added even more energy onto it. Wow, okay, they've just gone in. Power plant, smart. Hmm. I didn't think about that. Yikes. Well, we have to get rid of that. Which means we need to throw some stadiums in here, or at least field blowers to bypass this thing because that just whoa that just makes so much trouble oh the show's oh yeah it's 100 percent stupid fun to watch i fully agree oh my gosh yikes uh we could lele actually here so it's two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen we could lele oh we're gonna risk it <laughs> we're gonna go crazy with the leles right trust me we are going to dig for some more DCEs. Oh, we're going for it. I ain't playing no games here, man. We, we are just going to... Oh. oh, wait. 
they get that charge up his game. Oh, well, we're going to risk it for a biscuit, as I say. Let's, let's do it. Oh, yikes. Oh, no. <sighs> Can this bypass the TC attachment? Stop it. Oh, it just discards it. Oh, I got so excited. Oh, do you imagine if you could bypass the, uh, the TC? Oh, that would just be stupid. All right. Uh, mm. Yeah, this is awkward. All right, let's get rid of you then. Get rid of you. Oh, I, got, I should have got rid of the Guzma. Mm. Get a Cotney down. And at least attack into the thing. But... We have to do it with this and not the Ninetales, which I know Ninetales has some spread damage and stuff, but they cannot KO us with the Snorlax, which is what I'm thinking. They've already gone for their Dump Truck GX. No, sorry. Megatron, friends. Mega Megaton? Megatron? Megaton. Megatron. What am I saying? Um, so they aren't going to get the Lele unless they go for some Reshivad play, which is very possible. Just saying. Oh, no, it's happening. Don't do it. Yeah, that's it. Well played. <laughs> Sometimes that just be it. Sometimes just how it goes, man. Sometimes it's just how it goes. <sighs> yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. Right. Oh my gosh, what is happening? What are you guys doing to me? What is going on? Where's all this, huh? Oh, yes, yes. Thank you very much, Ian. I know you did say that, actually. I do appreciate that. I will get working on that deck for certain. Um... How are the reasons? Okay. Yeah, actually, let's do let's do that trade. I'll do that. Yeah, that seems fair. All right. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Every single one of you are really awesome, man. Cool stuff. Uh, what's this? Yeah, I'll go ahead and accept you. Why not? Um, yeah. Uh, uh, genuinely, thank you um, for all these all these donations here for the for the for the stream. Uh, we'll definitely have some videos now out coming. Uh, sorry, coming out on some of the cards you've given me. Um, and we'll obviously give you a shout out as well. Uh, with that all said, so. Be sure to let me know if I did forget, though, because sometimes I can forget who gives what. Um, so if you if you did donate something to me and I shouted either the wrong person out or I stated that I don't remember who, just let me know in the comments, man. I'd love to give you a shout-out. Um, but yeah, with that said, I think that's going to be it for the stream. I need to go to bed. <laughs> I think I've made that so clear. <laughs> um, but yeah, I need to go to bed. With that all said, thank you, all of you, for stopping by. I really do appreciate it, man. Um, genuinely, genuinely appreciate it. Um, yeah, have a good night, um, or morning or evening, whichever one it may be. And, uh, yeah, please do take care. Thank you for stopping by. Peace.